Fractional distillation. Uh, so we learned simple distillation first semester that was just separating two mixtures based on their boiling point. Um, fractional distillation is separating a lot of mixtures based on their boiling point. Uh, we specifically do this with crude oil. So crude oil is right here in this picture. It's what we take out of the earth. So when we take it out of the earth, there's a mixture of a bunch of different length of hydrocarbon chains. So you can have like a one carbon chain, a two carbon chain, three carbon chain. When I say chains, that's all carbons um, bonded together. So you can have like hundred carbon chains, very, very long. So basically the smaller the chain, the lower the boiling point it has. Um, so what we do is we put this like crude oil, which is usually in like a liquid floor form into the bottom and we heat it. And the ones with the highest boiling points um, will stay liquid the longest. The lowest boiling points will um, turn into a gas and then they sort of travel up this column here. And uh, when they hit a temperature where they start to cool, depending on like where that is, it kind of goes into a little like catch here where it starts to catch the liquid and then it gets taken out. And we use these different petroleums for all different kinds of things. So we use like the smaller ones for cars, um, gasoline, that's usually octane, which is an eight carbon chain. Um, making chemicals, aircraft fuel, um, diesel. Diesel is what you see here. That's usually for like bigger trucks or buses or something. Um, so there's a bunch. There's a bunch of different types of oil. We get it all from crude oil and we do it through fractional distillation. So each one of these fractions contains a different um, type of petroleum and they're separated based on boiling point. This is a good summary over here in this picture where it says the small mo molecules have the lower boiling point. They're very volatile. That means that they turn into a gas at very low temperatures. Um, this top part, it says cool 25 degrees Celsius. 25 degrees Celsius is about room temperature. Um, usually room temperature is like anywhere from like 22 to like 25 or 26. So that's about room temperature. Like you could be up here and be fine. Here, 350 degrees Celsius, you would die. But up here, you're fine. Um, so that's things that like exist right now. So methane is an example of that. That's what comes out of the gas lines at school when we're using like Bunsen burners. Um, that's a gas at room temperature. So it would be up here when we got the crude oil and we um, separated it. Methane only has one carbon. So it's a very, very small carbon chain. It's the smallest you can have because there's only one carbon. Uh, here at the bottom, we have the larger molecules. They have the higher boiling points. They don't turn to a gas very easily. Um, they don't ign ignite as easily. Uh, methane ignites really easily. That's why we use it in the classrooms. Um, so there you go. There's this is a good like summary over here on this right side or uh, yeah right side of the page. This is just a summary of basically what I just told you. So if you want to read through that, you can. Um, and then this link takes you to a good animation. So I wanted to open up that link and uh, talk about it for a second.